All right, so I just got done getting my fingerprints taken for my background check to be a, for my substitute teaching license. Um, now it's time to go home. I've got my second class of the day uh, at three o'clock. It's currently um, 12.01. Uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the as autistics the importance of the Irish exit. Uh, what is the Irish exit? The Irish exit is when you leave a location, a party, whatever. There we go. Without letting anyone know, without saying goodbye or anything like that. It's also known as the Irish goodbye. Um, to some, this can be seen as rude. Um, um, to others, you know, it's just another, uh, and just another thing. For those of us who struggle with sensory issues and. <laughs> Communicating. Um, the Irish goodbye is a necessity. Uh, went to my 20-year uh, class reunion uh, last a year ago. Now, uh, just about, and uh, we all met at a bar, a local bar, and hung out for a few hours and stuff. And. I just decided to leave. You know, I wasn't very popular in school. Um, I didn't have a lot of friends. Uh, the people who were there, uh, they were friendly, but <laughs> almost gotten someone almost got into it next to that. But they weren't really friends, uh, more friendly acquaintances. Uh, and, you know, we're all in on Facebook and in the Facebook communities and stuff together and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't really feel it necessary to give a long drawn out goodbye to the people I was talking to um, and hanging out with at the um, at the class reunion. Um, I just, I didn't feel it necessary, you know, I just, while everyone was, you know, busy commuting with others, you know, I just kind of slipped out, and honestly, I probably wasn't even really missed, uh, but I just felt that, you know, an Irish goodbye was the way to go, and this is after years of going through all of the long goodbyes, the, hey, let's catch up sometime, let's hang out, um, keep in touch, stuff like that, that never really goes anywhere, um, and just converse, continuing the conversation for like minutes to even half an hour, uh, or more, before you actually leave. And as autistics, that tends to become a problem for us because we don't really know how to continue the conversation, how to, um, when to, when to stop and, um, when we should, you know, when we should talk, how long we should talk for, what we should talk about, stuff like that. And so the Irish goodbye or the Irish exit should be a way to go for the majority of us without being considered uh, rude uh, or anything like that. just because of our nature, because of who we are. Um, you know, you see, 
if you watch the movies and cartoons and stuff, Batman perfects the Irish goodbye, uh, the Irish exit. You know, while Commissioner Gordon is talking, he just leaves. <laughs> and so as autistics and those of us with ADHD and other neurodivergent says, um, we need to be more like Batman and perfect the Irish exit. So I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about that. You don't hear enough about the Irish exit among autistics uh, because we're all constantly trying to figure out ways to leave a conversation or leave a party or whatever and the Irish exit is completely acceptable. It's acceptable for neurodivergence. It's acceptable for neurotypicals. It's acceptable for everyone. Just perform the Irish exit. 